Hi everyone, Comic Reviewer here, this time reviewing on Deathstroke, issue number 0, New 52 Comic Review. Now, as you know, the New 52 had a series of issue zeros that were meant to tell the characters' origins and that before the start of the first issue. And was sort of meant to have ones for Batman, Wonder Woman, Green Lantern, Green Arrow... Suicide Squad, and so on. And the cover mainly has Deathstroke getting with his sword and gun ready, ready for action. And the story starts off how, at the age of 16, Slade Wilson lied about his age to join the military. And showed a lot of promise as a soldier, with his future life and line looking on, on with her commanding officer, saying, Captain Kane, it's your job to train here... But those boys, only a very few will be able to adapt. And so does the Slate Wilson's potential in the field. And of course, of course, after talking with Slade Wilson by showing her skills in the battlefield, leaves Slade Wilson impressed. And of course, of course he says, impressive captain, call me Anderline. How about I call you teacher? And of course, manages to pass through the academy with top honours. And of course, would later join a team known as Team 7, which consists of various characters we would see in the New 52. And of course, there is a mission to infiltrate an area in a secret island. So, of course, there are members that we know of, like Amanda Wara, there's meant to be Black Canary, her husband... Grifter, and so on, and the team basically being like G.I. Joe. So, of course, Slade Wilson ends up getting shot, but still puts up a fight, and has to be taken back to get medical treatment. So, of course, the military give him a secret compound that brings him back from the dead, but not to the full extent. So, of course, we see that Slade Wilson and Andaline got married, and basically was seeming to have a good life. Until Slade Wilson learned his friend Wintergreen was captured in Korea, or Somalia, and basically infiltrates Somalia, and takes on the terrorists. And given the fact Wintergreen was the last member of his group... We do see how Slade Wilson is in his costume before adapting to its true colours. So of course Andline notices that Slade Wilson has changed, and even saw that he'd become more of a mercenary and less of the man he used to be. So of course he infiltrates North Korea by destroying their nuclear weapons and basically killing everyone around him. So, of course, Anline is left shocked and appalled by what he's become, and is, but still wants to stay with him, despite his actions. So, of course, as soon as, as her two children grew older, and when the green son staying over the night at her house, they end up getting attacked by terrorists of Slade Wilson's, um, hits, and of course, Anline tries to put up a flop fight, but ends up getting killed. So, mainly him, his son Grant, and also Peabody, Wintergreen's son, become a sort of task force group. And of course, Slade Wilson goes back to Korea to finish off the job. And him and his son Grant become Deathstroke and Ravenger. And Peabody acting as the new Wintergreen. So of course, tragically Grant died. And Slade Wilson gets a gift. Which used to be one of Rose's. I mean, Anderline's. And of course, he knows something's not right. And we've seen how in Miami, someone is looking at pictures of Deathstroke. And it turns out Anderline and Joseph survived. And Joseph has now become Jericho. And yeah, ending the story. So, Slade Wilson's origin in this one 
is a little simple. I think the reason why I feel the film Knights and Dragons worked was because the movie had a message that sometimes actions can lead to bigger consequences and what if you did the right things for the wrong reasons. This one, it just seems like the serum just only made him something into far, something dangerous. And yeah, sometimes there are unforeseen effects of serums and other things. So the issue, kind of alright, but I think it still deserves a thumbs up. Still good, and still alright. So, comic reviewer here, signing out.